Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. I've been chasing space in some form my entire life because my dad was working at the NASA tracking station during the Apollo missions. That's one small step for man. I grew up with Neil Armstrong's autograph to my dad on his office wall and all of these NASA certificates. So space was just around in our family. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Cyan Proctor and I'm a geoscientist, explorer, and analog astronaut. And I have dreamed about going to space my entire life. All right. Inspiration 4 was announced and the first all civilian mission to orbit and you could win a contest. And I thought I, I could put myself out there as an artist and a poet because during COVID I started um, to do art as space art. So I put my art and poetry out there, but then you had to create a two minute and 20 second Twitter video and express why they should take you to space. Science, technology, engineering, and math sending us out on the explorer's path. But don't forget the arts, the heartbeat of time. Consider sending a poet who knows how to rhyme. And I won. And, and so that led me to becoming part of the crew. I was the mission pilot for Inspiration4, the first all civilian mission to orbit. Last year I became the first black female pilot of a spacecraft. Thank you for having me. Um, I'm Dr. Cyan Proctor, and last year my life fundamentally changed when I got to go to space as part of the Inspiration 4 all civilian mission to orbit. By the time you get to you know, the launch pad on that, that special day, man, I was ready. I, I had been well trained, I felt confident, and I was just so happy to be a part of, of this experience. And so I just remember being strapped in, and I just remember getting counting down to you know, 10, 9, you know, all the way down to 3, 2, 1, and then just the thrust. We're going. This is awesome. This view will never get old. I feel so fortunate to be able to see this and to experience it. See it everywhere. And it sticks to everything. Oh, just give me some of that hair so I can. Amazing experiences are waiting for you. You can easily talk yourself out of opportunity in life. And when I get that voice inside my head, I think of my dad and what my dad would say. And he would tell me, don't talk yourself out of opportunity. Let somebody else decide if you're qualified. Yeah, rules, you just say, Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> I think we have time for one more question. There's nothing um, like floating in space. How many of you know the movie or the TV show Peter Pan, right? So you know how like Peter and Wendy just simply lift up and they're suspended. It's like that. It's a, an amazing experience that I hope anybody who wants to go to space gets to, you know, have. This is the paint set that I took with me and, and it hasn't been you know, disturbed. Um, this is actually the way it came back from space. <laughs> I consider myself I, an Afrofuturist artist, and that's somebody who uh, takes the themes around the African heritage or African American story, and it's set in a kind of futuristic way. And so for me, I'm thinking about human spaceflight, where we're going as a society. But when I'm thinking about that, I'm thinking about that from the lens of women of color, you know, people of color. And and how are we going to be a part of that narrative? Mine 
for the bigger picture of large scales, you know, colonies and everything else that we'd love to see. Um, but the balance is something that we have to keep in mind as well of the type of people that might be going because they have a means to go. Are you guys enjoying the conference? Yeah. Yeah. What was your favorite thing so far today? People. People. <laughs> you know, it's really exciting to be surrounded by the future generation and knowing that you are giving them not only inspiration and motivation, but also hope and a path where they can see themselves and they say, wow, I want to do that. Yeah, you're downloading the Unistellar app so that you can uh, see what my scope is going to be. We're united under one sky and by one ocean. And when, when I think about the future of humanity and how solving for space solves for Earth, you know, I think about it in how do we, you know, get people excited about human space flight, but then how do we bring that back and teach them about how all of the things that we do out there makes us more sustainable here and why it's important.